What's up YouTube? This is Demkeys back again with another Unity tutorial and today I'm going to teach you about Vector3.lerp. Lerp is a function that takes three parameters and returns a Vector3. We'll go into a little more detail. Uh, Lerp takes three parameters. Vector3 from, Vector3 to and float t. Now, Lerp interpolates between two vectors. What does interpolate mean? Interpolate means to insert between fixed points. So lerp basically interpolates between from and to by the fraction t. This is most commonly used to find a point some fraction of the way along a line between two endpoints. And uh, the fraction is usually clamped between 0 and 1 because if you go any higher than 1 then you're going to get the same result as 1. So even 100 will give you the same result as 1. Alright, so let's take a look at a few examples of how to use Vector3.lerp. So we have in our scene here a plane and two cubes and two lights as well and the camera. This cube is called cube target and this is just cube. I'm going to attach a script to this cube. I'll call it lerp01. Alright, so I'm going to create some variables over here. Public transform target01 and actually for now let's leave it to target01. No, let's let's make two. I'm going to make the second one later anyway, so what's the difference? Public float. Let's call this fract. I would call it speed, but I don't want to confuse you. All right. Transform dot position equals vector three dot lerp as you can see vector3.lerp uh, returns a vector3 that's why I can use it to set the position of uh, this object and it takes three parameters like I mentioned earlier from to and t alright from should be target 01 dot position to should be target 02 dot position and our fraction should be fract. Next we need to drag our objects into these empty variables. Cube target would be the second target because that is what we want to lerp to. And this cube is going to be target 01 and we'll set the fraction to 0 0.5 now remember I said the fraction is or uh, T is usually clamped between 0 and 1 so I'm using z I'm using 0 0.5 so that I can easily explain to you how this works because well you'll see so now I'm going to run the game and let's see what happens I'm gonna click pause so that it starts out and pauses at the next frame and then I'll be able to show you how it's working exactly. So here we have two points and it's going to interpolate between these two points by the fraction 0 0.5. Let's play the game. So it starts out here. The initial two points were here and here and it went to the middle because I used 0 0.5. Let's move to the next frame. Currently from is here and 2 is here so it should uh, the cube should move to somewhere near this location now from is here 2 is here so it should move somewhere in between so you get how lerp works now let me change this value to 0 
or let's say 0 0.02 or 0 0.3. I'm going to show you an effect that you can create using Vector3.lerp. One of the effects that you can create using Vector3.lerp. I'm going to go to the, the cube target and create a script called move script and I'm just going to add wait this is not required I just need speed Alright, so this code is going to get the user's input and move the cube accordingly. Let me set the speed. I'll set it to say 0 0.5 maybe. And now I'll run the game. Okay, that's too much. Change it to 0 0.0 okay you can see the cube is actually following cube target this is basically just lerp doing its work Alright, to help you understand Vector3.lerp, I'll show you one more example. Let's change the from position to something else. Let's create an empty game object and place it somewhere here. Alright, so bear in mind the lerp script is attached to this game object but we are setting the from variable as this game object. So target 01 will be the empty game object and I'll change this to 0 0.5. Now watch what happens when I run the game. Notice, no matter where I move, this cube always remains along the middle of the line between these two points. Because I have set it to, I've set the fraction to be 0 0.5. If I set it to, say, 0 0.1, it'll be more closer to the from variables position. So no matter where the cube target moves, this I guess you can say ratio is still maintained. I don't know if ratio is the right word or not but uh, let's just say this fraction is still maintained. So this is how you use Vector3.lerp. There are many things that you can do with Vector3.lerp. You're not just limited to these two examples that I showed you. I hope this tutorial was helpful. 
Do check out these other videos as well. The video on the top left teaches you how to use the line renderer. The video on the top right teaches you how to use lens flares. And on the bottom left is a playlist for the Unity 4.6 UI Tools series. I'm also accepting donations. So if you would like to help me out, you can send your donations to my PayPal email address, which is mentioned on the screen and in the description down below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Leave your comments below. And I'll see you guys next time. Is he quo? Is he fame? Is he even still the same? Claiming Lord's boys, but we never seen him main. I don't cover now on album when he get the chance to hang. Like, damn. One three four. Niggas acting like I never been through them doors. Moved uptown and I rocked a little red. Niggas asking if I'm raw, cause I'm out in Hempstead. Like, shit. Who are you? Entourage member or part of the crew? EMG.